After facing one of the most serious terror threats since 9-11, Homeland Security officials are slashing a big chunk of anti-terror funding to New York City, and local lawmakers said the cut could put your life in jeopardy. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer has more on this funding fallout. Just weeks after Najibul Azazi was nabbed in an al-Qaeda terror plot to explode dirty bombs here, Congress has inexplicably slashed Big Apple terror funding designed to build a network of sensors to uncover nuclear or radioactive devices in a 50-mile radius of the city. To me, this is beyond comprehension that uh, less than a month after al-Qaeda attempted an attack against New York City, uh, that you would have the Congress cutting the money that New York City needs to defend itself from a dirty bomb attack. It's absolutely mind-boggling. The city wanted $40 million to build the network at bridges, tunnels, and other locations in the metropolitan area. Congress only earmarked $20 million for the program and slipped New York a double whammy. The money is in a pot that other cities can apply for, so we may not even get the entire $20 million. Yes, this $20 million can be spread around like political pork, the way other Homeland Security funds have been spread around the country. This is a bad day for New York. It is as apparent as the nose on your face that New York's a target and we need these funds more than any other part of the country. Police Commissioner Ray Kelly also cited the Zazi case as more reason for New York City to get the funds. Having been in Washington myself for four and a half years, uh, it is a mysterious place. I can't figure out exactly what happened. Police sources say the lack of funds will affect the ability to develop new technology that detects dirty bombs coming into the city. In Manhattan, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. Senator Schumer says he wants to change the way the funds are allocated so the city gets the money automatically and doesn't have to fight for it each and every year.